all the order, the advance proposal, Emerald Park Landfill Standing Committee for June 1st, 2015 at 4.08 p.m. <coughs> Would the secretary please read the roll? Mike Collins. Yeah. Here. Roland Kiefer. Patrick Murray. Here. Mark Slocum. Here. Jeremy Schweitzer. Here. Greg um, Burmester. Here. Rebecca McConnell. Here. Uh, Irene Bell. Here. Meeting was posted according to the meeting law. Approval of the minutes from the Thank April you. 7th, 2015 meeting. How do you wish to move? So moved. At first, and a second? Second. Eileen, any additions, corrections? On hearing none, all those in favor of the minutes as submitted, signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? The minutes are accepted unanimously. Open forum. Don't see anyone here. Compliance officer. Not here. Status of projects. Clay extraction. Uh, very little clay extraction, other than what we're using for daily cover. Um, there have been some backhaul um, with some of the material that's been coming in. How much backhaul? Oh, uh, probably last month we maybe did about two, maybe, I don't know, 5,000 cubic yards or so okay. of backhaul material, which is the clay that we're just excavating out of the next potential right. new cell. Right. But it's not additional traffic, it's traffic that you're already getting in there. Correct. Yep. Traffic in, traffic out. Police firing range? <clears throat> I've heard nothing. They s seem to be fine with everything. Uh, you know, since the berms were rebuilt last year, we're not hearing any more whistling or anything like that. So. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody's stopped it. <laughs> you, you can go to the labor contract. <laughs> okay, if I hear of no objection, I will ask to remove police firing range from the status of projects. Household hazardous waste, Rebecca. So I sent to everybody the report and we, so everybody knows that March 1st, we started the new contract terms and pricing. And so I also was able to get a new data database compilation set up so that everything's consolidated and I can run better reports for everybody on the committee, which is what I had emailed to you is this is a nicer report. And then we can compare as many years as we want. So. Um, what I am seeing and what we should all be happy about is that we're down about $10,000, about, well, between eight and $10,000, somewhere in that range. And we're mostly in the labor and supplies cost area due to several things. A, we reduced the hours, and B, we had the site closures. And so if we can kind of keep that momentum going, we're going to be in really good shape. So, um, but the problem that I'm seeing is that not only are we down that much, we're also down pounds-wise in number of participants. And now, I, again, I think that that's a good sign. The less pounds and participants we have, I'm, I'm hoping in my world that it means that we're educating the citizens appropriately and they're buying less toxic materials or using them more appropriately. So I always look at that as a sign of success, right or wrong, I look at that as a sign of success. So, I mean, just kind of putting it all together, we're down on all levels. Um, and, and so, for us, it's good news because money is an issue, so. Usually, one of the other things you can tie that to the volume is housing sales. Well, housing sales are doing good, but I haven't looked at the actual solds on the market, so I can't say that I have those like statistics with me, but I was just happy to see that the costs were down right now. Yeah. That, was oh, a, yeah. that was a big bonus for me, and so I didn't know if anybody had any specific questions, but I will send this report along with the ADS reports to date every time we have a meeting and then I'll send the comparative analysis from the year before to the current year, year to date. Good. And so we'll get those every every meeting. Unless you want them sooner, I can send them monthly, but. Okay. 
I don't think you needed another email. So I think things are going well. I'm pleased so far. So. Okay. Any other questions? MSD project, and this refers to the gas project, not your. Um, the only operational things they've been dealing with is moisture in the gas and removing the moisture before you can send it down the pipeline. And that has a lot to do with the humidity and the dew point. Because so we this take is going to be spring, summer, and fall. Right. I think they do plan on changing out the media, which helps in that process, um, so that you're not regenning. And when I say regenning, they're cleaning out the, the media bed from outside here. So I think they've got one of those scheduled, if not this month, next month for sure. Okay. But you're able to supply on a daily basis, or? Yeah, provided that we're not regening. Okay. Yeah. How long is the regen cycle? Uh, like today, it was probably three or four hours. You get into a day, like as the week goes on and the humidity and the dew points go up, then it's probably seven or eight hours that you're regening. Can that be done four and a quarter off hours? It would be nice, but no. Oh, okay. <laughs> I've asked the same question. <laughs> you know, non peak hours, that right, type of thing. Right, yeah. right. But no, it's just. It's all computer driven, so it's all RPCs. So it's, it's, ready, it's, ready. it's time to dry. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Based on the moisture a little trade. Mm -hmm. Plan mod issues? I did give you uh, the recent uh, correspondence we've had with DNR since February to current. So if there's anything on there, um, the first two are from the last year's um, gas system that we put in. So it was a submittal and then the approval from DNR. Okay. Uh, Biopile annual report, which is something done every year. Uh, residue glass, which is glass that comes off the MRF, off the end where it's got real small pieces of glass, a lot of plastic, bottle caps, that type of stuff. It's not the glass that they recycle. It's the stuff that they need to, they have no. It's the fines. Uh, right, no use for it. Right. Um, we did not have a plan or uh, approval to take that material here for daily cover, and now we do. Okay. It says almost it's like a sand. It is. Point, right? Yep. And, and it actually works very well for road base, sure. for trucks to drive on because yeah. the glass is so fine. It doesn't puncture the tires, obviously. Right. Um, that holds up real well. Good, maybe we'll start getting money for it. <laughs> you, you will, after we reach the 68,000 tons. <laughs> Not till then. That'll be tough. Um, um, how much of that are you getting? Uh, none right now. None at all. Um, but uh, Chris Rooney had asked me to look mm -hmm. into it and get the approval in case John's being right down the road um, would be interested in it. You know, then we'd be able to accept the stuff. So it would, it's in effect for the, uh, the market around uh, Emerald Park. So it's not out of state, but it can go to different counties if, if we need to. Generally, they don't truck it that far. They don't like to truck anything no. um, based on the price for trucking. So, so is, what do you is anything? No idea. Uh, Milwaukee? Um, yeah, I mean, anything is a potential. Um, but the main reason we did it was probably for John's being so close. Um, when do we, we don't anticipate getting any of it, really. It's just something in case someone. Just in case. Right. Okay. Uh, we had our inspection with DNR back in April. Went well. There's a small checklist that we've had to do a few things, minor things. It was basically clean up things from the spring, which are normal. Okay. Um, and then the annual report was submitted, and we're still going through the western expansion wetland de delineation things that we've got with uh, the Army Corps and DNR. It's just defining the wetlands out there again. Getting your boundaries down is what it is. Mm -hmm. And then we can go forward from there. But we can't plan a landfill without Right. Boundaries of wetlands that they are 
that we may or may not disturb. Is there any end in sight to them studying that? <laughs> <laughs> I wish. <laughs> Seems to come up every year. Every year. Yeah. I know. Um, and the weapons move. <laughs> and some have gotten bigger. So. Yeah. Especially, after Especially this year. Yeah. 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 yeah, they take their walk after we had two inches of rain over the weekend, but it's just timing, I guess. Well, spring, too. Yeah. Yeah. So I don't know. To answer your question, Hopefully I hope soon. Like the snail <laughs> or we it. all hope soon. Because most of them should be classified as mosquito infested potholes. <laughs> <laughs> That's a technical term. Yes. <laughs> Any questions, comments? Property protection, sociological program, going good? Yes. Yeah. Um, there's probably a few more out there, I guess. Property value guarantees, anyway. How many of you had submitted to you this year? Um, this year? Yeah. Two that I'm aware of. Okay. How many do you got left before you're done? Oh, that goes on a while. Really? There's a lot of them in it. Well, I know there were, but it seems like you guys have bought a lot of them yeah, already. There's, there's 40 or 50 of them or something like that. Yeah, totally. Yeah. More than that, yeah. Oh. Well testing, well water protection. As There's far as I know, time. yeah, I haven't heard anything from ESC okay. saying anything different. Green shape recirculation? None. Not We're doing anything. a little surface supply of the leachate from uh, future parkland. Okay. But there is no actual recirculation. It's all surface supplied by a water truck. So is this a dead issue now or what? No, it's not. No, not by any means. Okay. So there may be a time when we put piping in and do more recirculating. But for now, it's all just surface application. Is that more effective than? I, yeah, that's probably the best way to do it. Okay. In my opinion. Yeah, in my too. Jesus. Okay, so oh, are you going to be pumping both from the bottom of the landfill and sub landfill to surface supply? Yes. Or? Yes. Probably, we will probably get more aggressive this year than we have in the last two or three years, only because the Based on, we, we base it all off the moisture of the, of, of the garbage itself. We find that out when we do the drilling of the gas wells. If it's too dry, we need to get it wet. And the best way for us to do that is not only, well, it is to uh, recirculate the stuff or the leachate or surface supply. We're, we'll do the surface supply with not only future parkland, but we're also going to start surface supplying from the leachate from the hill itself. And the reason we like to do that is because when you when you do a um, recirculation, it's it's a matter of hitting a switch and walking away and letting the pumps pump it through piping, and you don't see it. It's all buried under garbage, and it tends to be forgotten about from time to time to where you could just overdo it. So by surfacing applying, you're getting you, you're able to see it visually, and you're able to control how much you're actually putting down. That's why I personally prefer the surface applying over hitting a switch and walking away. Because then you get it up seeds. Right, so through. And if you get rains, you know, two, three inches of rain, you're obviously not going to be doing it at all. So. Okay. But permits allow us to do it both ways. Right. Are you able to surface supply enough so that you're not having to send leachate to MISD? No, I, no, I doubt that. Not I close? mean, we're, we're still roughly probably just under a million gallons a month that we're pumping off. I can't foresee us doing a quarter of that, maybe, that we okay. would surface supply. Be 
things like going? It's going well. No complaints. Um, the company who picks it up, they're here whenever we call, so it's going well. Looks like you have a full house out there right now. Yeah, that happens. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and do they remove that during the week, so that on Saturday? Or yeah, Friday it'll or be in. Yep. Yeah, the container will be empty and we won't have that overflow either. Mm -hmm. Still a lot of them coming in. Look, our recycling, is there still a program going on in the state? Right, yeah, so we, of course, pay for the electronics pick up here. And then um, we, have, we have two events scheduled this year. We have one event in early May. We have approximately 375 cars going through. Um, other appliances and uh, electronics as well. And that was a zero cost event to the city. But a person wanted to drop off a TV and a picture for that. So I love the I don't remember the exact date, but I think you're, is yeah. it September? It's in the fall. September. Yeah, September. like the 23rd or something? Yeah, I think it's late September. Yeah. But they paid $15 to the TV. Mm -hmm. But they might be from New Berlin or New Orleans or anywhere. Right, yeah, it doesn't, anyone who's a NASCAR reader or checker reader, you have to, you know, sure. follow it much quicker now. So very, very successful. There's obviously a need for it. Good. We'll see how this next event is the same or more or less. Plenty more. How much is Wayne finding in the ditch? You know? Um. Good amount, but not, not a lot. I mean, he says they come here every you know once a month and drops off the container here. I say. But I don't, I don't know how long he picks up from us. Okay. I was just curious. Is there any relationship between these kinds of activities and the amount that you find in the road? Right. Yeah, I'd have to ask him the exact amount. Yeah, I'd be curious if you could track it roughly, you know, mm -hmm. you know close to me. But nothing's going to add a lot of work out. August? Sure. <laughs> I apologize. Okay, continuing business, other business. Review payments from community funds attached to the agenda and minutes. Is the ledger the balance sheet for both Cooper Parkland and EPI. Or EPL, I'm sorry. Any questions? Okay, item number two, confirm the next meeting date of August 3rd. Everybody's... We will listen to see if... Um, I want to hear if our compliance officer has anything to say since he has just joined us. We'll, We're going to we'll do this there. first. Oh, I see. You're just going through the whole thing first. I'm finishing up this agenda item now. Okay. Next meeting date, August 3rd. 4 o'clock. 4 o'clock. You got it. A van? Yes. Party bus. Or better. <laughs> the limo with mimosas. <laughs> okay, go. Um, we, we've been continuing to 
conduct audits on a weekly basis. Uh, the landfill has been staying in compliance. One of the things I have to note that they have been very aggressive about taking care of the erosion that occurred after the snow melt. Um, there's a couple sections that erode after every storm and they dress it back up and seed it. And one of these times it'll catch and we'll have a long enough break. Uh, this includes the topsoil and, and clay stockpiles over future parkland, which are nice and green now. Um, you guys talked about the e-waste. Um, I would say it's every other week it's full, but the, I've been out here when the contractor is picking it up, so they are, they are quick to respond. Uh, there haven't been any action items, and there's been minor seeps that Mike has addressed or Dave has addressed, uh, only on-site litter. It really has been moving smooth since the snow melt. I'm going to be out of the office uh, between the 15th and the 25th, but that won't prevent me from doing an oh, audit each week. Oh, oh the, I'm sorry, June, I apologize. Uh, there's, that gives me a Monday to do an audit and a four? Friday to do an audit. Since when did we change our meeting to four? Four? Sure. It was supposed June to be two meeting. Meeting. Right. It's, it's on tape, it. so be careful. Yeah, just a yeah. cat. <laughs> <laughs> okay. it'll, it'll give me the opportunity to do a Monday and then probably do a Friday. So the audits will be conducted. The landfill will have unique notice that when they'll bid. Welcome. Thanks. <laughs> but there is no tour. How was the tour? Great. We're, We're going to do an office. We had cocktails. Really? <laughs> we have we Tour is now for the August meeting. Four o'clock? Four o'clock. <laughs> Yes, this okay. We, you weren't here, we couldn't go without you. You lying. <laughs> <laughs> Anything else, Joe? No. Communications and any other business as authorized by law. I've seen the cars out in Arizona, and boy, one man in a truck can really pick up the dirt. Yeah, they do go fast. Yeah. We have the Franklin on the recycling list. Yeah, we have it on the recycling book. But it, it, it's just so neat when you're done because it's all lined up. You know, even if people aren't bringing it in right away, it doesn't all look all disarray and right. totes flying around. Yeah, our current recycling carts, the guys get out of the truck to, to pick those up, but the garbage carts will be 
fog gate system where they literally you reach out, grab it, and yeah, grab it out of the truck. So yeah. So it's uh, be much more efficient for them. Dave, could your carts be fully automated though too? I mean, you bought them. Yeah, so it's they're usually are. Yeah, I think they could be, but yeah. I think the trucks they use just happen to be okay. ones that they, you know, they have a little computer underneath to get them, wheel them on, and then load them in. Yeah. I think it's, yeah, and I think they could probably do it with a plot. Yeah, you should just consider in your proposal because most of the, a good chunk of the county went fully automated for recycling and garbage. And so I know that they did put some capital in buying, especially advanced, put some capital in getting some new uh, fully automated recycling and refuse trucks. Sure. So, you know, just to see if you could <coughs> keep those costs low by fully automated. I mean, the semi-automated is, is great too, but if you can fully automate both, roll. So the consideration, the only thing with the carts though would be how we handle, don't do it more than a cart's worth of garbage. Other communities have done it once a month, maybe put out more. Uh, or if you could call in, certainly we'll call in about their home per year. And most people put a filled cart up. Um, it'd be pretty unlikely to be filled garbage without this cart up. I remodeled the bathroom and I took the whole toilet and put it in the cart because that's how much space there is in the cart. So it's probably not a big issue, but we need to figure out a way around that. So, yes, sir. So there won't be a weight restriction on what you can put in the cart? Because right now... That's what I'm aware of because it's all fully automated. We don't have to weight too much those carts. Well, you got various sizes too. We'd probably do the bigger than the six. You know, the, they're about the same X and Y dimension as the recycling carts, which is much smaller. A little bit bigger, but mostly just smaller. Yeah, you know, when we went to the recycled carts, recycling carts, you had a choice between the larger and smaller. <coughs> My neighborhood most of it went to the smaller ones because to, to tend to be more empty nesters and things. Mm -hmm. But in people with families they tend to you know children, they tend to go with the larger ones. Uh, I know down in our community we went with carts all <coughs> with the claw, um, both recycle and household waste. And uh, the weekly pickup down by us, but recycling is twice a month. Right, so you know, yeah, every other, every yeah, other, every other, every other one. They <laughs> they send out a calendar saying, "Hey, this is the day we're going to pick this up." Whatever. They and we got we we switched to John's, but well, I tell you, it's it's great. They're fast. It's un unbelievable. Wintertime snow piles. Not a problem. Not a problem. As no, long, as long as the carts are facing in the correct direction. Yeah, and even with the claw, and, and even with, with the, the spaces. even with the claw, <laughs> even some people if they put a little cock, you know, the claw actually straightens it out as it squeezes it, and it'll dump it and put it back down. But most of the people will have their yard, our driveway plowed out, and they put it on the end of the drive. What about in your rural areas? You have well, that's where I, I live in the rural area. I, well, I mean, but I followed John's down Eight Mile Road one day, and I went right straight to their office because every time he lifted, garbage flew out in the road, the entire Eight Mile Road. I don't think so. We don't I, I saw it. I went down there and talked to him about it. They were all picking up bags all over. We don't have any in Raymond. I mean, I no? guess when they come, they, they get in, there's never any garbage on the ground. Matter of fact, John's is pretty good to where they'll stop, and if there's loose litter it they'll pick it up well this guy didn't he came they sent somebody back out to pick yeah. it up but it was a full but john's has been just excellent yeah so but we've had no complaints at all the only real issue the technology has is too light a tub too light a, a tub if they fall over because there's not enough in them or if they're if the driver's relay can't tell that it dumped because there's not much weight change that causes issues but for the most part, the more that's in it, the better it works. And they have no problem handling zero degrees, carts hold up? No, no. I've got, the, I've got the, um, the same plastic tubs as when I bought the house 10 years ago, and we've had the claw for the recycling the whole time I've been there, and it's held up just fine. I mean, the city workers in the wintertime in Milwaukee, they come up and get the garbage from you and then, you know, let the claw grab it, so, but, um, yeah, really, the, the only issue is if it's not right where it belongs. You know, if, it, if you've got a system that, you know, if it's not close enough to the curb or not close enough to the road, there's nothing they can do. they got to jump out and pull it in close. And the city took care of the 
the extra where the claw works all the time by offering um, another card for 25 a quarter. And that's because I'm always working on my house. I, I bought two cards. And then that way I don't have garbage on the ground. But they charge you anything you put on the ground now is a $50 charge. Hmm. And are these carts able to be pulled behind a car? No. No. No, no these are 96. 96 no. gallon plastic tubs with the, they've got tires on the back okay. and a pull bar. Okay, the reason I ask They is could be. There actually was, a, <laughs> there was a product out there that would put them on a hitch. Okay. So there, I don't know that the product exists anymore, but I just, yes. No. My recycling, possible. I can easily, you know, connect it to the car and drag that out to the street. I've got a 600 foot long driveway and, if, you know, the garbage cart is bigger you got to walk it out, especially in winter, when you know the, that driveway gets to be a little more difficult. To, uh, it's a lot easier to just hook it to the car and drag it out. It's better for you to walk. <laughs> I was I was going to say in, in the no, rural programs I've done in Indiana, <laughs> we recommend that they build they build a housing for it out by the road, and you walk your garbage out to the can rather than have the can close to the house. Uh huh. Exercise every day, though. Yeah, I can't drag it back <laughs> on every day. Well, and I'll just maybe take my garbage down the driveway. I'll, I'll figure out a sled or something. <laughs> yeah. Many of ours offer a roll I've got some guys who made little carts. Uh, they roll, yeah. excuse me, they roll a little cart on their little cart and put it behind their. We do have some long driveways yeah, in yeah. Norway yeah. and uh, a quarter mile long ones. And they got a little cart they'll put behind their car and they'll pull it right out the night before and, 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 Whatever you know, so. Okay. But typically, the garbage cart is the same kind of cart as a, as a recycling cart. So it's just yeah. a bigger. It's got big wheels on. They're I mean, usually yeah. actually smaller. The industry standard is 64 for garbage and 96 for recycling. The garbage ones the are typically one smaller. Yeah, it's a lot bigger than the garbage. Hmm. It could be the other way around. I think I might have and to get a one yarder at my well, my house. Well, of course. Two yarders. Yeah. 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 Easier than walking it down a right? quarter mile drive. Well, <laughs> Yeah. Well, I don't mind that truck coming down your driveway. But I'll tell you, those containers, you will be surprised at what they hold. I used to have a, a one yard dumpster picked up from waste management at one time, you know, because every month they came, or twice a month. I didn't even mess with it, taking it out to the road. But when I got these carts, and I was sort of against it at first, you know, I thought, well, I'm. They're never gonna hold enough, you know, or whatever. <laughs> My God, they're big. They got a lot of space in these things. If you're talking 96 gallons, they're well, we're like this. They're 96. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah they hold more than enough too. for our house. It's just getting them down there. They they pull real easy. I'm not pulling them with my car. Well, what? By your by hand, I'm talking. Oh yeah, I got a quarter mile long driveway rolling. I know your driveway. <laughs> Call me, I'll come and pull yeah, your right. I'll pull your garbage. Every Tuesday. Take them up on it. Ah, yeah, yeah, you're so you on. Have to the health <laughs> it's on video. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. You have been recorded, my hill of friends. <laughs> <laughs> you're getting more input than you expected, Dave. Yeah. <laughs> You can delete that last part. <laughs> He's writing it down diligently. He also agreed to come to my house. And <laughs> Who else are you going to go pull him for? He's going to have to go to the collection room. You might as well start your own business at this stage. Okay. Anything else? I know where you can find a consultant. <laughs> Anything else? Second. I need a second, so all those in favor, signify saying aye. Aye. Opposed? Oh. We are adjourned at 4.42 p.m. Mark. Oh, I want to talk to you for you. Mark. Uh, real estate lady called me from Kenway. <laughs>